So I mentioned in a previous video that I want to spend the majority of this module building a couple of different games together. And the idea is I want to give you some experience thinking about slightly larger projects. I mean, games can be a little bit larger than the kinds of things we've done so far. Uh, and they take a little more thinking and a little more processing to get them working properly. And so I want to sort of walk you through two different examples of this, one using keyboard interaction and one using mouse interaction and uh, develop these programs together incrementally. And that's a word that you, that you may or may not be familiar with, this idea of incremental development. Incremental development is a computer science term. And the idea is that the project is designed, implemented, and tested in small increments, right? The idea is we kind of come up with one idea first and we design that idea we make sure that it's implemented and working, and we test that it's working. And when we get one thing working well, then we move on and we add another increment. We add another set of functionality. And the idea behind this methodology, this process, is that you try to not overwhelm yourself with thinking about too many things at once. If you get one thing working and working correctly, then when you add in another step, if something breaks, it's a fairly small number of places where the problem can exist. And it gets much easier to break down. So we're going to be working with that idea in these uh, games. And so let's get started on our first game. The first game that I want to create is a game that I call Wonky Kong. And so let me actually just name my code that. And Wonky Kong is, is just sort of a takeoff of, of, of a play on words with the old Donkey Kong game. But it's also going to be uh, based a little bit on the idea of Space Invaders. If you remember Space Invaders, the idea with Space Invaders was you controlled a, a ship down at the bottom of the screen while stuff was happening at the top of the screen. And we're going to sort of do something like that here. I'm going to create a uh, game. So everything I'm going to do in this game is coming right from the sprite library. You're welcome to follow along with me and use the exact same characters that I do. You're also welcome to come up with your own theme. But in my game, I'm going to have a hero who's this, this monkey moving around at the bottom of the screen. And I also need to have uh, something that the monkey is going to be catching. So let's see here. Uh, things. I'm going to have the monkey catching some bananas that are falling from the sky, right? This is what we're going to go for here. And I don't want the cat in this particular game. So we want bananas falling from the sky, and the monkey's catching them. And we need a good backdrop. So let me go to the stage, backdrop, open the new thing here. Uh, and there's a, not, it's not a great background, but this forest is, is at least sort of appropriate, right? So we've got this, it's not very jungle looking, is it? But we've got this forest, and bananas are going to fall from the sky, and the monkey is going to catch them. And that's the beginning of this game. I'm going to save this out now, encourage you to stop and, and import all of these yourself, get yourself ready to go. And then in the next video, we'll look at doing, completing our first increment.